good TMG fam, it's your boy L. I'm back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, bro, look, 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 look. I told y'all last time I couldn't react to another Ron White video without having my red solo cup with me. I'm here, I'm prepared this time because you know how he is, man. He get to talking, he get to drinking, he get to smoking his cigarette. And you just feel like, man, you let, you don't, he ain't got your drink. You ain't feeling nice. You ain't right. You ain't really, really, are you really enjoying the show? You know what I'm saying? So I don't smoke. So I got my red solo cut with me, man. I'm ready to go. So what we about to check out right now is the official Ron White. I got thrown out of a bar. <laughs> and I'm laughing already because that just sounds like a typical Ron White story. So let's get into it man thank you guys for showing back up the comedy hour if you knew the comedy hour man it and for those of you that are real particular about what i say it's not an official hour i'll be seeing some of y'all in the comments no it's not really an hour we know that we call it comedy hour though but welcome back to comedy hour where we come man we kick it we have laughs man we laugh till our stomach hurts man if the comedy is good you know what i'm saying we let our hair down we kick back and we forget about what's going on out in the world so if you had a bad day then comedy hour is for you all right so let's get to it man official ron white i right. got thrown out of a bar Let's go. I got thrown out of a bar in New York City. Hold on, hold on. Only Ron White he can start off his bit by saying, I got thrown out of a bar in New York City and the crowd goes crazy. That's when you know you good, because they already anticipating your follow-up, man. That is about to be hilarious. Now, when I say I got thrown out of a bar, I don't mean somebody asked me to leave. <laughs> we walked to the door together, and I said, bye, everybody. I got to go. Six bouncers hurled me out of a nightclub like I was a Frisbee. Those big old bouncers that go home every night, watch Roadhouse and beat off. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? That. Patrick Swayze's hitting another guy. <laughs> How many of y'all got thrown out of a bar? If y'all got thrown out of a bar, I want to hear about your thrown out of a bar stories. I'm pinning the comment. Let me know, man, in the comment section below. If you got thrown out of a bar and the craziest one, I'm pinning your comment, bro. For wearing a hat. I walk into a bar with a hat on. This guy real pissy goes, took off the hat! <laughs> I'm like, what's the deal? He goes, I'll tell you what the deal is. Faggots in this area wear hats. We're trying to keep them out of a club. I'm like, oh, really? The only way we can tell down south is if they have their hair cut like yours. <laughs> and I believe he said that, too. I believe it. Look at the look on his face right now. I guarantee you he said it just like that. The only way we can tell down south is if they have their hair cut like yours. <laughs> And he got all pissed. <laughs> but he walked away and I took the hat off and like an hour later I've been drinking and I forgot. You ever forget? It happened to me. <laughs> I put the hat back on, the guy comes over to me. Now, I'm between 6'1 and 6'6, depending on which convenience store I'm leaving. <laughs> I wait. If y'all didn't get that. Depending on which convenience store I'm leaving. I weigh 235 pounds. This guy comes over to me, poking me in the shoulder with two fingers, says, you're out of here. I'm like, I don't think so, Scooter. <laughs> and I was wrong. <laughs> they hurled my ass. And then they squared off with me in the parking lot and I backed down from the fight because I don't know how many of them it would have taken to whip my ass. But I knew how many they were gonna use. <laughs> It's a handy little piece of information to have right there. Overkill. <laughs> well, they called the police because we broke a chair on the way out the door and I refused to pay for it. And the cops showed up and at that point, 
I had the right to remain silent, but I didn't have the ability. <laughs> oh, I got I to gotta use that. <laughs> I have the right to remain silent, but I ain't have the ability. <laughs> I'm in a situation like that when I've had the right to remain silent, but I just ain't have the ability, man, especially when you know you did nothing wrong. Well, you need to shut up anyway, though. But so that's not, maybe that's not a good example. Let me just sip my cup. <laughs> the cop says, "Mr. White, you are being charged with drunk in public." I was like, "Hi, hi, 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 hi." I was drunk in a bar. They threw me into public. <laughs> I don't want to be drunk in public. I want to be drunk in a goddamn bar, which is perfectly legal. Arrest them. <laughs> well, he didn't arrest them. Instead, they call in for my arrest record. There's some good news. <laughs> Satellites are linking up in outer space. Computer banks at NASA are kicking on. There's a telegraph in French, Texas going, <laughs> this part takes a while. <laughs> Shorthand. <laughs> Beep. Now, I told you that story to tell you this story. When I was 17 years old, I was arrested for being drunk in public. <laughs> Seemed to be a pattern. <laughs> if you knew Morse code, you would already know that. <laughs> and one DWI, which was a bogus charge, because it turns out they were stopping every vehicle traveling down that particular sidewalk. <laughs> And that's profiling. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say, but he ain't making a good case for himself. I believe. And the drunken public charge in French, the arresting officer, who I have literally known all my life. You know what I mean? This guy lived four doors down from me in a town of less than 400 people. We've met. <laughs> He takes me to jail when we get there. He asked me if I have any aliases, and I was just being a smart ass and said, yeah, they call me Tater Salad. <laughs> 17 years later in New York City, I'm handcuffed on a bench with blood coming out of my nose. This cop goes, are you Ron Tater Salad White? <laughs> You caught me. You caught the tater. <laughs> you caught the tater. <laughs> yo, yo, the things we do when we get drunk, bro. You caught me. You caught the tater. You can take down those roadblocks now. I call my son Tater Tot. And Poot. Yo, I got to know, man. What's the craziest thing you gotten thrown out of a bar for? I don't think by any chance I was ever thrown out of a bar physically or I might have been asked to leave, but it wasn't me. It was the people I was with. You know what I'm saying? And normally if you're with that person, they don't just tell him to go or even if they do just tell him to go, you can't stay. So you got to go with them. So you know, I, I think I just always ended up being with that drunk friend who just can't handle his liquor and is just too aggressive or just too loud or wild or belligerent inside of a bar or a club. Yeah, yeah. I've always been with that guy. I've never been the guy, but I've always been with that guy. So officially, me never been thrown out of a club, but... 
I, I can't uh, I can't uh, partake in some of you guys' stories. So if y'all want to leave your stories in the comment section below about the time you got thrown out of a bar, I would love to read them. So leave them in there. Leave a like, subscribe, give me some more suggestions on Comedy Hour, man, and stick around and stay tuned. It's your boy L to the next reaction video, man. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Stay solid. Hey. What we do here is go back, 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 back.